Okay, you're in Excel and you want to find duplicates using a formula. So I'll show you how to do this for one column, finding duplicates in one column, but also finding duplicates across multiple columns, as in duplicate records. I'll also show you how to create a list of duplicates using a formula. Now let's start with finding duplicates in one column and we're going to base this on the name column. Now we don't want to count the first occurrence of the name as a duplicate, only the second, third or fourth, etc. The function we're going to use to do this is COUNTIF. Now the range needs to refer to the first cell in the column that you're looking for duplicates in. Then you type a colon and it will repeat that cell address to the right of the colon. You then go back to the first cell address in that range and all you need to do is put a dollar in front of the number in that cell address. Then I put a comma after the range argument and I express my criteria, which is the same cell address. Close bracket. Now this range will grow as the formula is copied down this column. So that B2 will change to B3, B4, B5, but this B2 will remain as B2. Now if I press enter and then copy this down, you'll see that most of these are not duplicates, but by the time I get down here to Claire Malik, I found my first duplicate. So if I look at the formula here, you can see that the range has grown to B2 to B23. And in that range, this value appears twice. So that's the second occurrence of that name. Now, what I want to do is test whether the value returned by the count if is greater than one, because if it is greater than one, it's a duplicate. So I then copy that down. So you can see now I'm getting a true where there is a duplicate. And then I need to put this within an if. So this is my logical test. This is returning true or false, comma. The value if true would be duplicate or whatever you want. That needs to go in quotation marks because it's a text value, comma, value of false. I'm going to return an empty text string, an empty cell. Close the bracket, press enter. I can then copy that down. And wherever I've got a duplicate, it now returns the word duplicate. Now I've based this test on one column, but there is a problem. Jerry Holes, Tampa, Florida is apparently a duplicate. But if I find the other occurrence of Jerry Holes, I can see it's a different person living in a different location. So what I really need to do is base my criteria on both columns. Now to do this, we need an extra column where we can concatenate both the name and the location. So it becomes one value. So to do that, I'm just gonna say equals B2 ampersand C2. So you could do this for as many columns that you need to do it to. Then if I copy that down, you can see it just joins those text values together. So then over here in this column, I can base my count if on this concatenated column. So my range is D2 colon, and then I put a dollar in front of the two, just like we did in the last example, comma, and then my criteria is also D2. If I copy that down, where it finds a duplicate will have a value greater than one. So that's my test. Is the count greater than one? I can then put the count if in an if. Logical test is the count if. Value of true is duplicate. Otherwise empty text string. So if I copy that down, it finds the duplicates, but that Jerry Hull is not considered a duplicate because it has a different location. Now in my final example, I want to create a list of the duplicates and I'm going to use the filter function to do this. A filter is available in Excel 365. 
Now, first of all, I need to create a test for my filter function. And for this, I'm going to use the count ifs function. That's because I'm going to base the condition on both the name and the location columns. So my criteria range is B2 down to B53, comma. And my criteria for that range is the same range as my criteria range. So I'll just copy that and paste it in there, comma. And then my criteria range two would be the second column. So I'll select C2, control shift down arrow key, control backspace, comma. And the criteria for that range is the same range. And then I close the bracket and I press enter. Now what it's doing is it's counting how many times the combination of name and location appears in this list. So for example, Claire Malik, Los Angeles, California appears twice. It appears here and it appears here. So what we need to do is say, is this value greater than one? That gives me my trues and my falses. And then to list the actual records that are returning true, we put this within the filter function. So my array is the data set that I'm filtering. So I'll select the first row, A2 to C2, Control Shift down arrow key, Control backspace, comma. Include is returned by my countifs function, comma. If empty, non-mandatory, but I'll put no duplicates found. So this text string will be returned if there are no duplicates. So if I press enter, it returns those duplicate records. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.